Hola, Minasan! Welcome back for another round of Commander Deck Tech Analytics. Uh, however, I could phrase it. <laughs> uh, today, we're going to cover my um, um, one of my uh, latest built uh, Commander decks, Morska Undersea Sleuth, um, which is an all-out detective deck. Uh, it's, um, it's a bit on the thematic side uh, from Murders of uh, at Karloff Manor. Um, uh, yeah, I stumbled on to getting all these uh, different detectives from the Morska deck uh, that um, that I covered, the Morska the Morska precon deck um, uh, that I had covered earlier this year. And because I had so many detectives uh, coming out of that deck, I built uh, a deck around Morska. So um, uh, it's uh, it's pretty um, it's a pretty simple, straightforward uh, um, design deck. So, uh, let, let's not waste too much time and let's do the walkthrough first. There we go. All right. So, um, uh, so let's start off with uh, Morska, Undersea Sloot. Uh, one green, one white, one blue, legendary creature. Uh, a Valdalkin Fish Detective. Uh, you have no maximum hand size. At the beginning of your upkeep, investigate. Create a clue token. It's an artifact with two mana. Sacrifice this artifact. Draw a card. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, you put two plus one plus one counters on Morska Undersea Sleuth. Two, three, creature. This is our commander. Uh, we got one, two, three, four five five forests one two three four five five planes and one two three <laughs> four and five islands then we have temple of enlightenment uh, land Temple of Enlightenment enters the battlefield. Tap uh, when Enlightenment enters the battlefield. Scry one. Tap to add white or blue. Reliquary Tower. Land. Uh, you have no uh, maximum hand size. Tap to add one colorless. Scattered green uh, groves. Land forest plains. Tap to add green or white. Groves enter the battlefield. Tap cycling two two uh, uh, two mana. Uh, discard this card. Draw a card. Draw a card. Thornwood Falls, land. Falls enters the battlefield, tap. When Falls enters the battlefield, you gain one life. Tap to add uh, one green or one blue. Uh, next up is Unclaimed Territory. Unclaimed Territory, uh, land. Uh, as the territory enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Uh, tap to add one colorless. Uh, tap to add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type, which would be Detective. Temple of Plenty, land. Uh, plenty enters the battlefield, tap. When Plenty enters the battlefield, uh, scry one. Uh, tap to add uh, one green or one white. Secluded Step. Step enters the battlefield, uh, tap. Uh, tap to add one white. Uh, cycling uh, one white. For one white, uh, uh, discard this card, draw a card. Scene of the Crime. Artifact land, clue. Ooh, a clue land. <laughs> Uh, tap to add one colorless. Uh, tap uh, tap this card. Then tap and untap the uh, creature you control. Add one mana of any color. Uh, for two mana, sacrifice a scene. Draw a card. Command tower. Land. Tap to add one mana of any color. And your command is color identity. Prairie stream. Land. Plains island. Tap to add one uh, white or one blue. Stream enters the battlefield tapped unless uh, you control two or more basic lands. Spire of Industry. Land. Tap to add one colorless. Uh, tap. Pay one life. Add one mana of any color. Activate only if you control an artifact. Seaside Citadel. Land. Uh, Citadel enters the battlefield tap. Tap to add one green, one white, or one blue. Rogue's Passage. Land. Tap to add one colorless. For four mana and a tap, target creature can't be blocked this turn. Lonely Sandbar. Uh-oh. Uh, there we go. Uh, land. Sandbar enters the battlefield. Tap. Tap to add blue. Uh, cycling one blue. Tranquil Thicket. 
Uh, Thicket enters the battlefield. Tap. Tap to add green. Cycling one green. Path of Ancestry enters the battlefield. Tapped. Tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. One that mana is spent to cast a creature spell that shares a creature type with your commander. Scry one. Temple of Mystery. Uh, land. Mystery enters the battlefield. Tap. When Mystery enters the battlefield, scry one. Tap to add one green or blue. Irrigated Farmland. Um, land. Plains Island. Tap to add one white or one blue. Irrigated Farmland enters the battlefield. Tap. Cycling two. Spara's Headquarters. Land. Forest Plains Island. The tap to add one green, one white, or one blue. Spara's Headquarters enters the battlefield. Tap. Cycling three mana. Canopy Fista, land, forest plains, tap to add one green or one white, be sent to the battlefield, tap, unless you control two or more lands. Loxodon Eavesdropper, three mana and a green. Creature, Elephant Detective, when Loxodon Eavesdropper enters the battlefield, investigate. Whenever you draw your second card, each turn, um, Eavesdropper gets plus one, plus one, and gains vigilance until uh, end of turn. 3-3 three, three creature. Rubble Belt Maverick. One green. Human detective. When Maverick enters the battlefield, uh, surveil two. Look at the top two cards of your library, then put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest on top of your library in any order. Uh, for a green, exile Maverick from your graveyard. Put a plus one, plus one counter on a target creature. Activate only as a sorcery. One, one creature. Sample Collector. Two mana and a green. Troll detective. When Sample Collector attacks, you may collect Evidence 3. When you do, put a plus one plus one counter on a target creature you control. To collect Evidence 3, exile cards with total mana value 3 or greater from your graveyard. 2-3 creature. Sharp-Eyed Rookie. 1 mana and a green. Human Detective. Vigilance. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, if its power is greater than Sharp-Eyed Rookie's power or its toughness is greater than Sharp-Eyed Rookie's toughness, Put a plus one plus one counter on shop right rookie and investigate. 2 2 creature. Beetle Gazi Inspector. One man in a green. Elf Detective. As an additional cost to cast a spell, you may col um, collect evidence 6. Reach. When uh, Inspector enters the battlefield, if evidence was collected, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature and you gain 2 life. 1 3 creature. Tireless Tracker. Uh, 2 mana and a green. A uh, human scout. Human scout. I thought it was a detective. No, that's fine. It's a human scout. Uh, landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, put a plus one plus one counter on tireless uh tracker three two creature great uh graph mole uh this gets stuck sometimes it's a fresh um uh what you call it uh sleeves so <laughs> it happens it happens so graph mole two men in the green mole beast whenever you sacrifice a clue you gain three life two four creature Griff Knot Tracker, um, three mana and a white, human detective. Flying, when Tracker enters the battlefield, exile up to two target cards from a single graveyard. Three, two creature. Market Watch Phantom, one mana and a white, spirit detective. Whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under your control, Phantom gains flying until end of turn. Merchant of Truth, two mana and two white, angel detective. Flying. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, investigate. Clues you control have exalted. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, that creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn for each instance of exalted among permanents you control. A 2-5 creature. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I, um, I was kind of wrapping my head around how um, clues who are not creatures get exalted, but now I see how that um, where that's going with. Novice Inspector, one uh, one white human detective. When uh, Inspector enters the battlefield, investigate a uh, one two creature. 
Otherworldly Escort, Three Man in Hawaii, Human Detective, Flash. When Escort dies, if it's uh, not a spirit, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with four charge counters on it. It's a spirit detective. It's no longer a human. One man in a white tap. Remove a charge counter from Otherworldly Escort. Destroy target creature that dealt damage to you this turn. 4-3 creature. Hmm. Season Consultant. One man in a white. Human Detective. Whenever you attack with three or more creatures, Consultant gets plus two, uh, plus zero until end of turn. 1-3 uh, creature. Forensic Researcher. One man in a blue. Merfolk Detective. Tap. To untap another target permanent you control. Tap collect evidence three. Tap target creature you don't control. Forensic gadgeteer. Two men in a blue. Uh, Fedalkin at artificer detective. When you cast uh, an artifact spell, investigate. Activated uh, abilities or artifacts you control uh, cost one mana less to activate. This effect can't reduce the mana in that cause to less than one mana. Final word, Phantom. Two mana and a blue. Spirit Detective. Flash. Flying. During each opponent's end step, you may cast spells as though they had flash. Hmm. During each end step. Exit Specialist. One mana and a blue. Human Detective. Specialist can't blo uh, be blocked by creatures with uh, power three or greater. Uh, disguise. One mana and a blue. You may cast this card face down for three mana as a 2-2 two -two creature with ward two mana. Turn it face up any time for its disguise cost. When exit specialist is turned face up, return another target creature to its owner's hand. So I'm assuming disguise, you know. Um, I haven't checked it out, but I think disguise is a, a special action just like morph. Anytime you flip a card face up, it's supposed to be a special action. Uh, so when exit, spe uh, exit specialist is turned face up, return uh, another target creature to its owner's hand. Oh, okay. Detective of the Month, two mana and a blue, human detective, ascend. If you control ten or more permanents, you get the city's blessing for the rest of the game. As long as you have the city's blessing, detectives uh, you control can't be blocked. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 2-2 white and blue detective creature token. Which is a very scary thing, because if this comes out with, um, with, the clue, uh, with plenty of clues, yeah. <laughs> Crime Stopper uh, sp uh, Sprite, two mana and a blue, fairy detective. As an additional cause to cast a spell, you may collect evidence six. Flying. When Sprite enters the battlefield, tap target creature. If evidence was collected, put a stun counter on it. If a permanent with a stun counter would become untapped, remove one from it instead. I would like to um, build a deck around stun. That, that seems like such an awesome uh, mechanic. Tangle Grove Kelp, five mana, two blue. Artifact creature, Clue Plant. War, 2 mana. At the beginning of each combat, other clues you control become 6-6 six, six plant creatures in addition to their other types until end of turn. But, uh, for 2 mana and sacrificing the kelp, draw a card. 6-6 six, six creature. At the beginning of each combat. Mm -hmm. Ethereal Investigator, 3 mana and a blue. Spirit, Flying. When Ethereal Investigator enters the battlefield, investigate X times where X is the number of opponents you have. When you, uh, whenever you draw your uh, second card each turn, create a 1-1 White Spirit Creature token with flying. 2-3 creature. Mm, 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 mm. Cool, huh? <laughs> uh, Erdwall Illuminator. One man in a blue. Spirit. Flying. Whenever you investigate for the first time each turn, investigate an additional time. 1-3 uh, creature. Private Eye. I'm sorely disappointed that it's not an arms by gore, quite honestly. Uh, one mana, one mana, white and a blue. Homunculus Detective. Other detectives you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, target detective can't be blocked this turn. 3-3 three, three creature. Sophia, Dogged Detective. One mana, green, a white and a blue. Legendary creature, human detective. When Sophia enters the battlefield, create Tiny, a legendary 2-2 green dog detective creature token with trample. For one mana, sacrifice an artifact token. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each dog you control. Whenever a dog you control deals combat damage to a player, create a food token, then investigate. 3-4 uh, creature. This is actually pretty, uh, it's a pretty cool card, actually. If you make a whole dog deck around um, Sophia. You get food tokens and clue tokens. 
in addition to um, um, giving uh, your dogs plus one, plus one. Hmm. I might have to think about that. I may have to think about that, honestly. Lavinia, Voil to Conspiracy, one mana and two hybrid, white and blue. Legendary creature, human detective. Vigilance, whenever you cast your second spell each turn, investigate. Tap to add two colorless. Uh, activate only during an opponent's turn. Two, three creature. Undercover Crocodelf. Four mana, green and a blue. Elf Crocodile Detective. When uh, Crocodelf enters the co uh, um, deals combat damage to a player, investigate. This guy is three mana and and two uh, and two hybrid green blue. Uh, five five creature. Alquist Proft, Master Sleuth. One mana, white and a blue. Legendary creature, human detective. Vigilance. When Alquist Proft, Master Sleuth, enters the battlefield, investigate. For X mana, a white and two blue, tap, sacrifice a clue. You draw X cards and gain X life. 3-3 three, three creature. Um, interesting. Uh, interesting. Interesting? Interesting. Evidence Examiner. One green and one blue. Green and blue. Uh, Murfolk Detective. At the beginning of combat, on your turn, you may collect evidence four. Whenever you collect evidence, investigate. 2-2 two, two creature. Granite Witness, two mana, white and a blue. Artifact creature, Gargoyle Detective. Flying Vigilance Disguise, two hybrid, uh, white and blue. White or blue. When uh, Granite Witness is turned face up, you may tap or untap target creature, three, two creature. Chulane, Teller of Tales, two mana, green, white and blue. Legendary creature, human druid. Vigilance, whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Then you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. For three mana uh, and a tap, return target creature you control to its owner's hand. Two four, uh, uh, two four creature. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I'll think about that. Lonus, cryptozoologist, a green, one green and a blue, legendary creature, snake elf scout. Whenever another to non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, investigate. Tap, sacrifice, X clues. Target opponent reveals the top X cards of their library. You may put a non-land permanent card with mana value X or less from among them onto the battlefield under your control. That player puts the rest on the bottom of their library in a random order. Okay, so this kind of makes sense now, having um, these two paired, paired up. Adrix and, uh, and Nev, twin casters. Two mana, a green and a blue. Legendary creature, Merf uh, Merfolk Wizard. War, two mana. And if one or more tokens would be created under your control, twice that many of those tokens are created instead. Uh, two, two creature. Hmm. Oko, Thief of Crowns. One mana, uh, a green and a blue. Legendary Planeswalker, Oko. Um, plus two loyalty, create a food token. Plus one loyalty, target artifact or creature loses all abilities and becomes a green elf creature with base power and toughness 3-3. Three, three. Minus five loyalty, exchange control of target artifact or creature you control and target creature an opponent controls with three power or less. Four, um, four loyalty. Gaia's Anthem, one mana and two green. Enchantment, creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Spider Silk Armor, two mana and a green. Enchantment, creatures you control get plus zero, plus one, and may block as though they had flying. Ulvenwald Mysteries, two mana and a green. Uh, enchantment, whenever a non-token creature you control dies, investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. And mind you, um, it, it is sacrifice this artifact, in, in case you're wondering. The clues that gets created. Um, Primal Rage, one mana and a green. Enchantment, all creatures you control gain trample. Fertile Ground, one mana and a green. Um, enchantment Aura, Enchant Land. Whenever Enchanted Land is tapped for mana, its control adds one mana of any color to his or her mana pool. They went this way. Two mana and a green. Uh, sorcery, search your library for a basic land card. Put it in, onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle, inve uh, then shuffle, investigate. 
Kadama's Reach, uh, two mana and a green. Sorcery, Arcane. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Reveal those cards. Put one onto the battlefield. Tap and the other into your hand. Then shuffle. Naturalize. One mana and a green. Instant. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Knighthood. Two mana and a white. All creatures you control get uh, gain first strike. Search the premises. Three mana and a white. Enchantment. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, investigate. Shared Triumph. One mana and a white. Enchantment. As Shared Triumph enters the, uh, uh, um, comes into play, choose a creature type. Creatures of the chosen type get plus one, plus one. <clears throat> Brave the Sands. One mana and a white. Enchantment. Creatures you control have vigilance. Each creature you control can block an additional creature. Armed with proof, two mana and a white enchantment. With arm, uh, when armed with proof enters the battlefield, investigate twice. Clues you control are equipment, in addition to their other types, and have equipped creature gets plus two plus zero and equipped two mana. Farewell. Four mana and two white sorcery. Choose one or more. Exile all artifacts. Exile all creatures. Exile all enchantments. Exile all graveyards. Wrath of God. Two mana and two white. Sorcery. All creatures are uh, in play are buried. Source to plowshares. One white. Instant. Exile target creature. Its controller gains life equal to its power. Ongoing investigation. One mana and a blue. Uh, enchantment. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, investigate. One mana and a green. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. Investigate. You gain two life. The Fairies Ageless Insight. Two mana and two blue. Legendary enchantment. If you draw a card, except the first one you draw in each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. Levitation. Two mana and two blue. Enchantment. All creatures you control gain flying. Echo of Eons. Four mana and two blue. Sorcery. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library then draw seven cards flashback two mana and a blue you may cast this card from your graveyard for its flashback cost then exile it finale of revelation x mana and two blue sorcery draw x cards if x is 10 or more instead shuffle your graveyard into your library draw x cards Untap up to five lands, and you have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. Exile Finale of Revelation. Mana Leap. One mana, one blue. Interrupt. Uh, target, uh, counter target spell, unless it's caster, pays an additional three mana. Counter spell. Uh, two blue. Interrupt. Counter target spell. Magnifying Glass. Three mana. Artifact. Tap to add one colorless. Four mana. Tap. Investigate. Thought Vessel, two mana artifact. You have no maximum hand size. Tap to add one uh, to add one colorless. Sol Ring, one mana artifact. Tap to add two colorless. Talisman of Unity, two mana. Tap to add one colorless. Tap to add one green or one white. Talisman of Unity deals one damage to you. Talisman of Progress, two mana artifact. Tap to add one colorless. Tap to add one white or blue. Talisman of Progress deals one damage to you. Talisman of uh, Curiosity, Artifact, tap to, um, tap to add one colorless, tap to add one green or blue, Talisman of Car um, Curiosity deals one damage to you. Commander Sphere, three mana, Artifact, tap to add one uh, mana of any color in your commander's uh, color identity, Sacrifice Sphere, draw a card. Arcane Signet, two mana, Artifact, uh, tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. So, um... Basically, uh, all this deck does, straightforward and simple, is manipulate clues. Use the detectives to investigate, investigate, investigate. Then um, this is uh, completely thematic around um, how detective um, works. Um, you know, they search for clues, they investigate for clues, and the clues um, are used to draw cards, um, which help you get to uh, uh, more stuff. You know, saying gets you through, um, uh, gets you through the whole thing. Uh, they can fight and, and and everything. 
but the um but this whole uh, whole entire deck does revolve around clues that, um that's the way that um Wizards of the Coast designed the detectives as a um as a creature type uh it revolves all around the clues that's pretty much it turn clues into weapons turn them into creatures um you know uh have them do all kinds of manipulative stuff and and whatnot um uh, you know just like that um and trigger and of course trigger other effects as well so yeah that's uh that's basically all it does it's just uh it just manipulates clues and there are uh, non-detective creatures that also manipulate clues that um that work with it um and so on um so yeah um that's pretty much it <laughs> a very simple walkthrough um this was a very simple deck it was very easy to build because uh um because of the precon uh that morska um, was in and there was a whole bunch of detectives and i happened to have other detectives from uh from a few packs that i bought and it just made things very easy to um uh build this whole deck around uh very simple uh and of course you know went through the collector's market to uh fill in the fill in the blanks and I happen to have some very good, strong uh, cards uh, to work with, so it wasn't uh, it wasn't too uh, it wasn't too hard to build, quite honestly. It was uh, it was very 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 easy because of the fact that um, they were they all of their effects centered on one thing and one thing only, clue. Um, and the clue effect is not bad. Um, the the clue artifact is not bad. It's basically cycling. That's all it is. Just two mana and sacrifice the clue. It's basically cycling, and you get a and you get to draw a card. In a sense, you could actually fit them uh, pretty much any deck um, uh, uh, that if you're if you're in need of like card draws and such, um, and and artifact manipulation decks would benefit from it too because um, uh, would, uh, would benefit from some of these detectives. Primarily because of the fact that um, one, you get the clue. Um, the clue cards will um, will help um, be an identity target for whatever your goal is, and you get the ability to draw a card if you need to. And you can always sacrifice a clue and, and regenerate uh, from um, the the detective that you used. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's get to the analytics. Let's get to analytics, everybody. There we go. All right. So here's our commander, Morska. Put her right there. Okay. Let's start with lands. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, uh, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, uh, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So we got 35 lands. All right. Here we go. 35 lands. 35 lands. Creatures, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, uh, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, uh, 32. Okay, we have 32 creatures. Uh, enchantments. We'll move Oko over there. Um, also, let's put that up to 33, including the, the commander. So that's 33 uh, creatures. Enchantments, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have thirteen 
enchantments. 13 enchantments. Sorceries, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sorceries. We have one, two, three, four instants. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight artifacts and one planeswalker under miscellaneous. There we go. One planeswalker, which is Oko. There we go. Okay. Now it's time for the mana ability cards. Let's start with the land. Okay. We'll push this up here for now. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. So all 35 um, lands um, have mana speed. Okay. Creatures. How many creatures do we have? With mana speed, well, uh, Morse code does not have uh, mana speed, so let's see here. Mm, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Yeah, I don't think I um I got any creatures with um with mana speed here that can uh, tap for mana. No, um, which is pretty tough. No mana dorks. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's no mana door. Oh wait, here we go. Um, we got one. Mm. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the only one, huh? Okay. Okay. So that's one among the enchantments. Let's see here. Enchantments. Obviously, it's going to be fertile ground. Let's see here. Mm. Yeah, fertile ground uh, is the only one. Yeah. Fertile ground. So that's one. And artifacts. Which is pretty simple. Well, um, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight artifacts. Um, so I got eight man, uh, mana rocks out of that. All right. It's time for the mana curve. Let's check out them curves. <laughs> All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, 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 no. One more. There we are. Mana curve. Okay. So let's move the lands out. We'll set them right here. <clears throat> and let's see what we got going here. We've got three mana, three mana, three mana, two, one, two. Two, two, three, two, three, four, one, three, two, two. So far, um, so far the mana curve is very interesting. 
let's see here. Okay, three, three, four, two, four, one, four, two, three, 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 two, three, three, uh, seven, four, two, three, four, six, three, two, four, two, three, four, five, five, uh, two, four, two, four, four, three, four, two, two, three, 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 two, two, six, um, X, four, six, three, three, two, two, one, and two. There we go. All right. So we got an X, uh, um, on the list here. Okay. One mana. We have one, two, three, four, four one mana cards. Mm, yeah, we can put it upside down. Okay. Four one mana cards. There we go. All right. Next up is two mana. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we got 21 uh, two mana cards. All right, now we're gonna mark here 21, okay. Uh, next up is three mana. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, uh, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, uh, twenty one. Uh, 21, 22, we got 22, we got 22, okay, then we have, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got twelve uh, four mana cards. Okay. We got one five mana card. We have one, two, three, uh, three six mana cards, and one uh, seven mana card. Oh, crap! <laughs> I put them all in the wrong spot. Hold on. Okay, and one X card. X, which we'll put one here. Let me fix that up because I don't have a zero mana card. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Let's correct this. There we go. All right, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> okay. Let's see, power meter. It's time for the power meter. Let's scroll this up a bit. Okay, so very, um, very interesting mana curve there. Uh, so let's do the power meter. Let's separate the um, uh, the numbers, uh, the creatures from uh, from the rest. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, playing the detective deck um, was uh, is pretty fun. It's very interesting. You know, it's a it's an interesting gimmick it, because um, I can't see unless. Um, then again, they are coming out with Dusk Morn, uh, which is um, which is supposed to be some kind of haunted mansion. So they might end up creating some Scooby Doo detectives who will be looking for clues as well. Um, because for some weird reason it's gonna be it'll feel like Scooby Doo, and something tells me they are going to make Scooby Doo characters, or at the very least they're going to probably make that a secret layer. Something tells me that's gonna be a secret layer that we're gonna have the the Scooby Doo gang. You know, they're gonna create the Shaggy and Velma and all of that. <laughs> yeah, give us the Scooby Doo dog. Let's see. All right. One, one, mm. let's start here. Uh, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, three, two, one, two, one, two, two, <laughs> three, three, two, three, three, Two, four. Wow, we finally got a four. <laughs> two, three, three, two, two, five, and six. Well, that's very interesting. I could tell you that much. Um, I and I understand why, because there's a card. Um, because I do have a card in this deck that um that is checking for two power or less. So it would make sense that there would be a lot of one power and two power creatures. Um. We don't have any zero power creatures, so we're gonna be covering one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. We have eight uh, one power creatures. Oh, uh, over here. There we go. Okay, two power creatures. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. And then three power, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
seven. All right. And then we got one each of four, five, and six. Four, five, six is one each. So just do that. There we go. What an unusual power meter. Like it's very, um, very odd looking. All right. So we got uh, six, five. Here's three. Um, here's three. Here's two. Three toughness, three toughness, three toughness, two toughness, four toughness, two, 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 one, uh, two, three, three, four, three, three, two, three, five, three, two, four, one. Two, three, 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 two, three, and four. So this is a lot more. This is this is very interesting. Um, the the tower and um the power and toughness meters. This is a very interesting thing here. So we got one, two, uh, two one toughness creatures. Okay, we got two untoughness creatures. Am I using the right colors? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm always throwing myself off of the colors here. All right, two untoughness creatures. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, uh, two toughness creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, 14, three toughness creatures. 14. And we got one, two, three, four. Four or four toughness creatures. And we have one, two, Two five toughness creatures and one six tough uh, six toughness creature. So that's a um, that's a very interesting curve going on here. A very interesting curve um, on the toughness meter and the power meter. <clears throat> so this is a very defensive minded um, uh, um, group type uh, creature type detectives. Uh, for the most part, um, I do have you know things like clue plant, uh, but those who are like detectives, they got um, they got very interesting uh, power toughness dynamic going here. All right, tactical. All right, draw a card. Um, clues um, do not uh, do not count. Uh, cards uh, cards that create clues don't count to draw a card. Um, if it's a clue card in and of itself that draws the card, um, then the, that would count towards the, the thing. Uh, investigate only creates the clue, doesn't uh, draw the card, is what I'm saying. So that's a lot of investigating going on here. Mm, let's see here. That's a buff. And that creates uh, food tokens and investigate coke tokens. Uh, this is a life, uh, life game. When you cast a card, then you may put a land card from your hand. Um, target creature um, you control. That's a that's a bounce. We'll put that up there. During each player's end set, may cast a flash. Let's see here. If it dies, it's not a spirit. Return it to uh, the battlefield. That's a recover. That's recovery. When, uh, when you draw a second card, detectives don't block. That's um, a buff. Uh, this one draws cards. When you draw, okay, that's a buff. This one, um, this one is a buff. <clears throat> mm. 
No, oh, that's above. This is investigate. Okay. Um, no, that's not it. Let me cast a second spell. Uh, let me draw a second card, create a creature. This is investigate. Uh, collect evidence. Gain a counters. That's a buff. Um, gain a buff. Investigate. Tap target creature you don't control. Untap another target creature. Target. Nope. <clears throat> um, investigate. That exile. Um, that's exile. So that goes um, over here. Tap or untap target creature. Nope. That's above and creates to uh, investigate. No, nope, that's above. Uh, this collect evidence, investigate. This one this, uh, puts a stun. That's a debuff. Um, this one, this one just doubles up the tokens. Uh, this one investigates. Mm, let's see here. Uh, you may put, uh, all right. Target opponent reveals the top X cards. Now this is um, control. And, uh, return target creature to its owner's hand. That's um, uh, that's a removal. This is top deck, surveil. <clears throat> okay, so let's put those to the side here. Exile. Let's see. We're getting there. We're getting there. Investigate. Gain two life. Exile creature from your graveyard. Investigate. <clears throat> That's a buff. 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 Um, mana. Uh, removal. 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 Uh, creation. Here's a draw. Let's see. This is uh, modifications and <coughs> yeah, and theft and creation. All right, uh, buff modification, buff, buff. Mm, whatever creature dies, sacrifice a clue. Oh no. Let's see, search the library for a basic land card. Yep, that's a search. That's a search. If you would draw um, a card, draw two cards instead. Yep, that's a, that's a card, uh, that's a draw. Then investigate creates a clue, uh, creature light. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into the library, then draws seven cards. That's a recover, that's an exile. Draw X cards. Um, Yeah, okay. And instead, she'll feel the graveyard into your library. That's a hybrid um, recover. So, all right. In terms of draw, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five cards that draw. Okay. Five cards that draw. Search. We have two cards that search. Recover, we have two cards. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Uh, I forgot about this. Sorry. I forgot about the lands here. Uh, yeah, because of cycling, cycling, scry, scry, cycling, cycling. I forgot about cycling lands here. Sorry about that. Nope. 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 Is that right? Draw a card. Cycling, scry. Mm, nope, this is a life gain. Cycling, no maximum hand size, scry. The rest of these are plain uh, basics. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. I forgot that I had um, the lands here. So I have one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have twelve cards that um that draw. They have the ability to draw a card, um, or draw cards. They have the draw card ability. So that's twelve. Okay, let's correct that. That's twelve, right there. <clears throat> okay, so that's double check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Okay, and then I got two search cards. Two cards that search. Okay, uh, recover. Um, I have uh, one, two. Uh, two cards um, that recover. Okay. Mm. Yeah, two cards that recover plus the, um, this one here. Let's see here. Tangle Grove Kelp. No, no. Uh, finale of uh, Revelation. Instead, shuffle your graveyard into your uh, library. So that's three um, cards that can recover. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna put otherworldly escort over here because he can also destroy, not just only uh, recover. Top deck, scry, surveil, anything else. Let me look at the top cards. I got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five cards. Okay. So I am not without. Um, uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Actually, that's actually not bad in terms of resource. Alright, now, um, now it's time for the removal. So destroy, exile, destroy, 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 exile, mm, uh, to the hand, bounce to the hand, um, exile, and bounce to the hand. Okay, so cards that get um, sent to the graveyard, one, two, three, four, five, five destroys. Uh, that's five cards that send cards to the graveyard. Uh, opponent's cards to the graveyard there. So where is that? There we go. Exile. We have three cards that send cards to exile. Okay. And finally, we have uh, two cards that send cards back to the hand, um, to the owner's hands. So... There we go. And no cards that go um, that get sent to the, to the deck. So that's blanked out. All right. All right. So let's assess here uh, what's going on with my deck. Okay. Let's see. Where's Morska at? Let me just get Morska so I can put her at the top. Oh, she's over here, right, right. Mm. Al quiz. Uh, come on, Morska, where are you at? <laughs> oh, you're not here. Okay. Oof, one hundred cards. <laughs> What an amazing format this is, um, Commander. This is very entertaining. It's a very entertaining format. You know, uh, 100, 100 cards, 100 card deck, man. Elder Dragon Highlander. To think that that um, that little format, fan made format, became um, this uh, monster format. This excellent format. Detective deck. There we go. My commander detective deck. My detective commander deck. So, uh, yeah, given that this is entirely focused on the detective creature type, um, <clears throat> it's pretty interesting that it centers, um, that they have a very, very low, um, low mana, uh, a low mana curve here. Well, you know, um, I don't mean like low in, the, um, in terms of the... <clears throat> of the mountain sense, but low in terms of the mana um, cost sense. 21, uh, two mana uh, cards and 22, three mana cards. And the bulk of them are all detectives. The detectives all clocking in at two and three mana. So it's very easy to drop them every single turn after, um, after the first four turns. 
um, let's just say, you know, uh, after the first four turns, it's very safe to say that um, you're guaranteed a drop each turn, and there's no reason not to get a drop each turn. Uh, the four mana is um, is okay. I mean, there's a lot of solid cards, aside from creature wipes. Um, but then you get this nice little um, uh, uh, valley here. But I don't think it's, uh, uh, I think it's inconsequential to have this little valley here. There's only one X to deal with. But there's only, um, it's very inconsequential because there's only five um, uh, cards that are five mana and higher. So that uh, so they're kind of like the big ones. They're kind of like the big swings for this deck here. But considering that this whole deck is about generating clues and turning them into things like equipment or creatures or um, generate draws that will trigger um, effects like Morska's um, effect here. Where it says whenever you draw your second card each turn, put two plus one plus one counters on her. So you are 100% encouraged uh, to not only generate uh, the clue tokens, but to uh, sacrifice them for only two mana, which is a cycling cost, um, which is the average cycling cost. Well, it's um, actually just the normal cycling cost, actually. And be able to get not only a, a hand, uh, but synergy uh, interactions with uh, with effects like Morska. Uh, the power meter is very interesting because I have 15 creatures uh, that have two uh, two power. So they um, they're relying heavily on those uh, clue tokens. They're relying heavily on the clue tokens to um, give them the um, the resources they need to be able to uh, make the swing because uh, at the end of the day even if um, even if one th uh, even if I can get plenty enough out there two power is still not good enough for a commander format that can in which there could be a whole lot of um, crazy um, attacking you know you know high powered creatures so what's interesting is to compensate it looks like uh, Wizards of the Coast designed the detectives to have uh, the bulk of the detectives to have three power, uh, so that they can actually they could survive certain attacks, uh, or team up and block uh, block some heavy creatures. You, you're talking about uh, a six uh, two creature two creatures blocking one creature. That's six toughness, um, uh, six toughness block combined, which is uh, very uh, which is not bad. It's very interesting, but. Um, uh, yeah, the detectives are not very, um, not very strong. So clue, um, the clue cards are the key to um, to these detectives in this deck to really do everything they can uh, to get around and actually uh, swing at an opponent. You know, if you don't generate, for, um, if you don't generate a clue and start drawing cards so that Morska could get plus one plus one counters, she's not going to do commander damage. And she would need uh, um, help from um, guys like the Loxodon Eavesdropper. When he enters the battlefield, he investigates. And then whenever you, um, you know, create a, whenever you sacrifice a clue to get that uh, card, uh, and it's your second card that draws, then he also gets plus ones. So a lot of the detectives, uh, most of the detectives do get plus one plus ones whenever cards get drawn out, and they get other um, trippy uh, synergetic uh, um, abilities. It's very straightforward, quite honestly. It's not. Uh, this is not a very overcomplicated um, uh, creature type detective. They um, they just look for uh, they look for clues, and those clues will boost them up. And then having cards, um, having cards like um, like this one here, Ovenwald Mysteries, where you investigate and create a clue, and then you can sacrifice the clue to generate uh, to create a one-one human uh, soldier creature token. Uh, examples like that is um, is pretty crazy. So filling them in, uh, since uh, the intent is to bolster up the, uh, uh, since uh, you can create t creature tokens and also play um, the kelp that can turn the clues into six six uh, cr um, uh, six six creatures artifact creatures. Where's the kelp at? Let's get the kelp here. Mm, here we go. Tangle uh, the Tangle Trove Kelp, where uh, at the beginning of up cat, uh, up key, um, at the beginning of each combat, other clues you control get uh, become six six plant creatures in addition to their other types until end of turn. So all the tokens that are created 
uh, will become six six uh, um, plant creatures, and then you have uh, uh, so because uh, um, because you can make creatures out of your clues, and you can make creatures um, from uh, sacrificing clues. Having cards like Shared Triumph, uh, Gaia's Anthem here, uh, Knighthood with um, Primal Rage, and here's uh, like cards like Shared Triumph. You know what I'm saying to to really booster um, booster up those um, those creatures and cards. If uh, if um, if I were to swing wide and create um, token creatures or turn my clues into plant creatures. Uh, having cards like that will help them, you know, get a little bit more power and toughness, and and most importantly, get things like flying, uh, vigil, uh, flying first strike or um, or or trample, which is a extraordinarily powerful trio to have. Um, in terms of tactical, um, my draw power is uh, is excellent. Uh, on a um, in terms of a natural card, because I have cycling lands uh, in addition to um uh card second let me draw uh, on triggers the most importantly though the clue tokens um uh will also give me will also give me uh, uh card drawing but because they um they got to be generated through investigate um it's not um it's kind of a roundabout way as opposed to a natural pro um a natural approach you know directly from the card itself um two cards to search uh, not really necessary to have that much uh, search cards um, because the clue cards, you know, the, the, the clues will always give me a card draw uh, to help me out. And having uh, very strong recover cards, um, uh, aside from that one detective that can recover himself, having uh, Echo of Eons, which allows me along with uh, in, a, in a form of a group hug to reshuffle um my graveyard into the library as well as um fi uh, finale of revelation um which uh which shouldn't be no problem for me to generate uh to, um, the the 10 mana uh, because of all the card drawing that's happening i will be having 10 lands ultimately in the end finale of revelation will uh, will allow me to restore my library and get some, you know, untapped lands and everything. Like it, it gives me a full reset uh, in my board for my board. So it's a very interesting um, recover uh, to have, and it may be uh, um, to the benefit because of um, because of how easy uh, the detectives can get taken out uh, with their low toughness, uh, along with uh, other cards. The the top deck uh, is primarily scry uh, scry lands and some surveil. Which is fine. Um, it's no problem, especially especially if um, if I decide to surveil, um, I can I can still discard a card since I have finale of revelation and and uh, and eons, so I can always um, surveil and drop a and drop a card just to speed through um, um, you know speed through the deck, and I could just uh, um, do finale or eons and just restore the the graveyard. Um, review uh, removal. In terms of removal, I um, I got mass removal, um, uh, wrath of God, which is uh, good enough, and I also have mass exile with farewell, uh, two cards to bounce from the hand, but then um, not really strong enough, um, honestly. I mean, they might be effective to get rid of, um, a, a, you know, in a timing full manner, um, bounce out the uh, the commander, um, if anything. Or something that can restore the field, but I don't see um, how the bounces can work. Um, the exiles are okay, but I got farewell in here alongside Wrath of God, so I got creature wipes. Um, so I got a pair of board wipes to work out with. But removal is not extraordinarily uh, strong in this sense here. Uh, and of course the counter cards, Mana Leak and Counterspell, uh, to help out uh, to counter since I got blue going on in here. So it's... um. So, yeah, basically, this is a very, very, very heavy reliance on the artifact token uh, clues. Um, it's very, uh, it manipulates uh, the clue cards all around and everything. And so, um, it's not exactly something that can, how you say, uh, that can help. Uh, I mean, the card draw helps and everything, but um, maybe. Um, 
Well, it's just interesting. It's weird and interesting because the clues can become creatures. The clues can become equipment cards. <laughs> it's just it, it, it's just all clue centric, and and that's hilarious um, for a creature type. Uh, I definitely can't see um, detectives uh, coming back uh, unless uh, unless the the planes has the thematics to allow it. I thought that detectives would have come back um, in Thunder Junction and the clues because you know you have the marshals and all that. You know what I'm saying? You know, you could have, because um, you have outlaws, so you, I would have thought that they would have had, like, sheriffs uh, in the form of detectives, given the detective type. Maybe Duskmorn, the, the next set after Bloomboro, I believe. That's the next set after Bloomboro. Um, would most likely should have uh, should have some detectives, because it's, um, cause it really, really, it really screams the Scooby-Doo theme, because it's entirely inside um, uh, a whole mansion. And something tells me there's going to be a Scooby-Doo theme and there's probably going to be detectives involved. Um, you know what I'm saying? Walking around and investigating. So it's going to be another rehash. It could be another rehash of Karloff's Manor, <clears throat> which was also in a mansion, need I mind you. <laughs> which was set in a mansion. So who knows? Um, who knows? But um, overall, uh, in terms of um, a very um, tribal-focused detective deck, um it's uh, it, um it's funny it's uh, it, it's hilarious it's hilarious so uh what do i want to do with this uh, what do i want to do with this deck so how do i want to improve upon it well there's a few things i don't know i mean it's very difficult to um figure out a way to improve upon it because there's so many cards you know specific cards that circle um that you know benefit like uh graph mole uh, so the question is do i want um um let's see <clears throat> how would i want to tech it because most of the deck teching was um getting lands you know more appropriate lands like uh sparrow's headquarters which um g gave me access to green white and blue tapping yeah and it, uh, in addition to cycling, you know, and because uh, card drawing is so vital, Reliquary Tower and Thought Vessel were thrown in here. I could throw in Spellbook. I didn't even think about that, but um, I could throw Spellbook into this deck, and perhaps should, since this is all about card drawing. Um, so I could drop Oko, you know, because because uh, I had to get uh, Essex out. For um for another deck uh to put into another deck that um that was going to be uh, put to use in, but I can drop Oko out. See, because Oko now one of the reasons why is because target artifact or creature loses all abilities and becomes a green L creature uh, with base power toughness three three. That was the reason why I chose to put him in there, and it's a plus one loyalty, so I could turn a clue into an elk creature um, that I can attack with, you know, uh, in that sense. And I can always swap uh, uh, an artifact or creature I control and target creature uh, an opponent controls uh, with three uh, with power three or less. That's for uh, minus five. So I could like give my opponent a clue token in exchange for say the commander. <laughs> uh, in exchange for the commander or their or their big hitter. Um, I'm not sure if I want to. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, what I'm saying it depends. You know. Uh, it, it, it all depends on how I want to go about this with um, if I want to go with this with Oko because uh, he can also create food tokens so I could gain a little life if needed but the fact that I can um, generate so many clues and turn them into um, creatures or I can exchange uh, a clue token for <clears throat> uh, for one of their uh, for one of their uh, artifact or creatures uh, uh, no target creature and opponent control for um, for a creature it's pretty um it's pretty dang good uh uh no i'm not dropping magnifying glass because it's got the investigate which fits um maybe i could drop brave the sands not really uh i want to keep brave the sands well no creatures you control have vigilance each creature you control can block an additional turn i'll have to consider um because i'm uh because because i got so many new decks um built now i might have to consider spreading it out Although this is a white, uh, um, a white deck, I'll have to figure out if I want to um, spot this somewhere else. 
because uh, other than Sarah's Blessing, which I have, and it's in my um, in my standard construction uh, constructed deck, um, I don't have many decks that can um, give me access to Vigilance uh, like this, um, like Brave the Souls, uh, Brave the Sands. Um, maybe no, that he that deals with Investigation, and I definitely want that. So I'll have to figure that one out. Mm. Another one, or actually, I could do this um, because now that I had seen, uh, well, not seen, um, I thought about it because because um, I started getting more um, dogs for some <laughs> odd reason. Um, I found myself getting some more dogs. Maybe I might consider um, swapping out Sophia for um, uh, for spellbook and make her uh, make a commander deck around her uh, because i um because uh i'm seem to be getting dogs a lot <laughs> uh when sophia dog detective enters the the battlefield create tiny legendary 2-2 green dog detective creature and it says here whenever a dog you control deals combat damage to a player create a food token then investigate so here's the problem, um, because I have to sacrifice a token to put a plus one plus one counter on each dog you control. So here's the problem: I don't have dogs in this deck. Tiny's the only dog in this deck. So uh, Sophia, uh, dog detective, may not be uh, may not be a good idea to have here. If Oko would have um, created instead of elk dogs, that probably would have made sense. But because um, uh, Tiny's the only legendary dog, I don't see any reason for me to have this um in this deck and only it's only in here because she's uh she's got green white and blue and morska is green white and blue and there are dogs of course um in in white and uh in white and green uh like isamaru uh that could be used but i don't know i feel like uh maybe making a, a dog deck out of this would be much more better and i could swap this for a spell book so that i can handle the um the card draws <clears throat> Uh, any wild um, um, card draw um, that could happen. So it makes perfect sense. So I could do that, and that will uh, move the uh, that will shift the mana curve um, from the from four over to zero, uh, four over to zero, and maybe I'll make a dog deck and make that nice little dog deck <laughs> uh, with the doggos. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, the only uh, the only creature that benefits from it is Tiny. That's pretty much it. Uh, that'll benefit from this whole effect. So there's no, really no need to um, have her there, um, ultimately. So yeah, I can uh, I can still do that. Uh, make a Sophia dog detective <laughs> and come out with all the dogs. Um, yeah. So basically, this is a deck um, which probably the um, I'll come across stronger cards maybe. Um, along the way, but there's nothing um, really, um, really to to tweak this with because this is so tribal centric, and centered around that one artifact token, the clue. Uh, so unless I could find cards uh, that are detectives, um, unless I find detectives or find um, or find uh, cards that do clues, um, there's nothing really for me to tweak. Uh, unless I want to get like a real, real, really, really big, heavy swinging creature um, to throw out there, you know, a creature or two that can heavily swing, but I don't see um, why. I mean, maybe drop Oko uh, in that instance. Then, you know, what I'm saying drop Oko, or find a, or maybe find a card that can generate creatures every time I sacrifice an artifact. Um, let's go into Scryfall. <clears throat> Let's uh, jump into Scryfall here. Oh, sorry. Long section here. There we go. Um, let's take a quick look into Scryfall for one second here. Um, let's see here. Detectives. I mean, I probably have all the detectives for all I know. <laughs> for all I know, I probably have all the detectives. Let's see. There are eight detectives. Yeah, you see, um, the innocuous, um, let's see, Hedge Whisperer, which I, oh, Hedge Whisperer. I don't have a Hedge Whisperer. 
<laughs> no, I don't have Hedge Whisperer. I never... Well, I probably do have... Um, I think I do have it, but it's not in the deck, right? Um, let's see. You may choose not to untap Hedge Whisperer during your untap. Um... Yeah, most likely. Yeah, see, I got these guys down here and the eavesdropper. I think I do have um, the the hedge a detective. Uh, you may choose not to um, untap hedge whisper during your untap uh, step. Three mana, green tap, collect evidence for target land you control becomes a five five green plant boar creature with haste um, for as long as hedge whisper remains tapped. It's still a land activate only as a sorcery. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't want to do that because of the exiling. Yeah, I don't want to um, go over exiling. And then here's the after, uh, aftermath uh, analyst. Uh, enter the battlefield, mill three cards, three mana green, sacrifice analyst, return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield tap. Oh, that's pretty nasty. That's pretty nasty, but I'm not milling. And then there's the uh, innocuous researcher, centaur detective. Parlay, whenever researcher attacks, each player re uh, reveals the top card of their library uh, for each non-land card revealed this way you investigate then each player draws a card it's a hug that's why i didn't put it, that one in there um yeah that's a hug parlay parlay is a hug thing <clears throat> so let's see here here's blue mm, here's blue um conspiracy unraveler let's see i don't think i got that one Cold Case Cracker, um, it's got Flying, and Dies and Investigate. Uh, Blue has a lot of detectives, very interesting. Very interesting, I got the Crime Stopper Spite. Exit Specialist, Detective of the Month, Forensic uh, Gadgeteer, Forensic Researcher. Agency Outfitter, uh, when Outfitter enters a uh, battlefield, you may search your graveyard and or library for a, na a card named Magnifying Glass and or named Thinking Cap and put them onto the battlefield. If you search your library this way, shuffle. Oh, okay. I mean, I have Magnifying Glass in there and I do have Thinking Cap, a whole lot of Thinking Caps, which um, work on detectives. I didn't put that Thinking Cap in there, uh, into this deck, which would have made sense. <laughs> Hotshot Investigators. Uh, they enter the battlefield, return up to one other target uh, creature to its owner's hand if you uh, if you controlled it. Investigate. Mm. Yeah, there's a there's a little it's a little bit weird. Steam Core Scholar. Uh, when a scholar enters the battlefield, draw two cards, then discard two cards, unless you discard an instant of sorcery in our creature. Yeah, that's too much there. Nick Valentine, Private Eye. Can't be blocked except by artifact creatures. Uh, Nick Valentine or another artifact uh, creature you control dies. You may investigate. Mm. And then there's Piper Wright, public reporter. Deals combat damage to the player. Investigate that many times. Uh, whenever you sacrifice a uh, clue, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. That's, a, that's actually an interesting card. Uh, okay, that's interesting. That's pretty interesting. Projector Inspector. That's the battlefield. Uh, uh, oh, okay. When Inspector or another detective enters the battlefield under your control, uh, whenever a uh, detective you control is turned face up. Yeah, that's, um, again, that's too specific. That requires disguise. Mm. <clears throat> I don't have enough uh, disguise creatures to, to pull that off. There we go. And there's only 11 detectives. Case file auditor. Uh, I think I got that one. Auditor enters the battlefield whenever you solve a case. Yeah, I would have to have case cards. Uh, I'm not play messing around with those. Uh, Griff not tracker enters the battlefield. Got that. Got that. Got that. Novice inspector. Uh, perimeter enforcer. I don't think I... I think I do. Do I? Uh, flying lifelink, whenever a detective, another detective enters the battlefield under your control, and whenever a detective you control is turned face up, perimeter, unfortunately gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Yeah, if I do, uh, I'm not wasting my time with it. Uh, Sarah Jane Smith, oh, uh, whenever you cast a historic spell, investigate. This ability triggers only once each turn. 
Uh, artifacts on Jerry's and Sagas are historic. Uh, Doctor's companion. Yeah, that's uh, no good uh, for me. Warshack uh, investigator. At the beginning of your uh, upkeep, investigate once for each opponent who has more cards in your hand than you. So you can investigate. So I could get like up to three. Do I have this one? Probably not. But this is actually pretty good. At the beginning of my upkeep, investigate um, once for each opponent who has more cards in, in hand than you. So I could create up to three tokens, uh, three clues. That's actually pretty good. Serene Sleuth, enter the battlefield, investigate. At the beginning of combat uh, on your turn for each uh, go to creature you control. Okay, investigate for each goaded. Yeah, I don't want to mess with goaded. I believe I have Season Consultant in there. Yeah. So. Um, multicolored. Dang, that's gonna. Alright. White, blue. No, this I don't have. When Ezrum Agency uh, Chief enters the battlefield, investigate twice. One sacrifice, uh, tap one, sacrifice artifact gains uh, your choice of vigilance, has uh, life link or hex proof. Oh, okay. Uh, five five uh, five five creature. Interesting. I got granite. Uh, I got Lavinia foil to conspiracy. Ravnica clue edition. Oh, that's what the C means. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I got that. Uh, Private Eye Sally Sparrow. Uh, you may cast creature spells as though they had flash. Whenever one or more other creatures you control leave the battlefield, investigate. This ability triggers only once in uh, each turn. Well, that's a pretty simple um, detective card. You may cast creature spells as though they had flash. But, uh, yeah, it's Doctor Who. I'm not sure if I'll ever find something like that. But this is actually a pretty good card. Um, you may cast creature spells as though they had flash. And whenever one or more uh, creatures you control leave the battlefield, investigate. That, that's not too shabby. That's not too shabby. Especially if I, uh, if I turn the clues into, into creature tokens. <laughs> Let's see. Green and white. None. Oh, interesting. Green and white doesn't have detectives. Okay. Green and blue. All right. Dugan, private detective. Another Doctor Who character. Um, Dugan's power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your hand. Whenever Dugan enters the battlefield or attacks, investigate the most important punch in history. One mana green attempt. Dugan deals damage equal to twice its power to another target creature. Activate only once. Huh. Alright. Evidence examiner. Uh, got that one. Kellen Inquisitive Prodigy. Do I have this one? Probably. Human Fairy Detective. Kellen uh, Prodigy attacks. Destroy up to one target artifact. If you control that permanent, draw a card. Ah, kill a... Uh, and then Tail the Suspect. Uh, sorcery Adventure. Investigate. You may play an additional land this turn. Wow. Okay. Then exile this card. You may cast the creature later from exile. Huh. Okay. Uh, I got Lanus, uh, Madame, uh, Mad Madame Fastra, partner with Jenny Flint. When this creature enters the battlefield, target player may put Jenny Flint into their hand uh, from their library, then shuffle. Uh, Fastra must be blocked with able. Whenever a creature dealt damage by Fastra this turn dies, create a clue token and a food token. Oh, okay. And I got the Crocodile. All right, let's uh, try colors. Just Sophia and Morska. They're the only two. Hence their legendary status. Alright. So. Let me see. About clue cards. Cards that. That have clue. Let me type, type that in. Clue. That's it. Alright. So these are the cards that do clue. Huh? That generate clue tokens. Over encumbered. Uh, thorough investigation. Whenever you attack, investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, venture into a dungeon. Forgotten realms. Oh, so this clue stuff is from a long time ago, huh? That's not. Uh, that's nothing new. Merchant of Truth. Astrid Peth. From Doctor Who. Legendary creature human. Peth enters the battlefield or attacks. Create a food token. Brand new sky. Whenever you sacrifice a clue or food token. Uh, food. Peth explores. Oh. All right. 
Oh, okay. That's actually pretty cool uh, for um, an explorer. All right. Armed with proof. Uh, enter the battlefield. Investigate twice. Yeah, I got this one. Plus, uh, you control our equipment. Yeah. Um, let's see. Blue. Let's see what cards have. Um, clue. Daring Sleuth. Human Rogue. Um, whenever you sacrifice a clue, transform uh, the Daring Sleuth. It becomes a human wizard. Bearer of overwhelming truths. Prowess. When truths enters the um, deals common damage to a player, investigate. Hmm. There's shadows over in a strat. Wow. So, yeah, this whole clue thing went even further back. 500 year diary enters the battlefield. Uh, tap. This is a clue artifact. Uh, tap for um, add one blue for each clue you control. Sacrifice 500 year diary. That isn't too bad. I mean, uh, I generate a lot of clue cards, so if I were to have this card, um, this this artifact, I would get uh, I can generate a lot of blue. Okay, fleeting memories, uh, shadows over Innistrad. Let's see, when memories enters the battlefield, investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, target player puts the top three cards of his or her library into uh, his or her graveyard. Ooh, I can make a uh, target player mills three cards. When, every time I sacrifice a clue. That would actually fit in this deck. Most definitely this would fit in this deck. Because um, of how much I can generate so many clues. Um, right out the bat. And I can mill my opponent hard. Into the split second. As uh, long as the spell is on the stack. Players can't cast spells or activate abilities that aren't mana abilities. Huh. Enchanted creature, uh, enchantment or enchant creature, planeswalker or clue. Uh, Enchanted Permanent is a colorless clue artifact with two mana. Tap this, uh, sacrifice this artifact, draw a card, and loses all other abilities. It's no longer a creature or a planeswalker. Wow, that's actually nasty. Turn them into a clue. <laughs> okay. Senator Peacock, Piper, right? Martha Jones. Um, human cleric? Cleric? Woman who walked the earth. When uh, Martha Jones enters the battlefield, investigate. When you sacrifice a clue, Jones and up to one other target creature can't be blocked. This turn. Uh, Doctor's Companion. Hmm. Senator Peacock. Artifacts you control are clues in addition to their other types and have uh, two mana. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, target creature can't be blocked. This turn. That's actually a pretty good card. That's actually a pretty good card. I sacrifice a clue. I could sacrifice all clues and make my um uh, make my whole entire detectives uh, unblockable. Make them unblockable. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, that's it. All right, that was blue. So what's about green? What about green? Um, uh, got the patrol. Hmm. Which I think uh, was already, uh, which I have in the deck. Confront the unknown. Investigate, then target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each clue you control. Oh, interesting. That's in shadows. Uh, Fey offering enchantment. At the beginning of each, uh, at the end of each step. Oh, if you've cast both a creature spell and a non-creature spell, create a clue token, a food token, and a treasure token. Hmm. <clears throat> Huh. Interesting. Modern Horizons 2, huh? Hmm. I got the Graph Mole, Uvenwald Mysteries, Tireless Tracker. Yeah, I got this one. Alright. <clears throat> I pretty much have all the cards, huh? Almost all the cards, basically. <clears throat> um, I got the Cryptozoologist, uh, but there's also the gen um, Genetics Expert from the Clue Set. Uh, Elf? Uh, evolve. Uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, that creature has greater power or toughness than this creature. Put a plus one plus one counter on this uh, creature. Whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on Lana's, investigate that many times. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, put a plus one plus one counter on another target you control. That is actually tight. And it's only three mana? Wow. That's actually pretty tight. Uh, that's a That should be a card I should get my hands on. Um, the third Doctor, Time Lord Doctor. 
Uh, trample, uh, the, the third doctor gets plus one, plus one for each non-creature token you control. Oh, snap. All those clue tokens. Enters the battlefield. Tr um, create your choice of clue, food, or treasure token. The fact that I can create so many clue tokens, he would be pretty nasty. <clears throat> that was the third doctor? The third doctor. Hmm. All right. And green, uh, green, white, and blue. None. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, in terms of, it looks like I got the um, got the uh, all the good ones in this deck. So aside from um, Sophia, who's not really necessary because I'm I'm not generating dog tokens and dog creatures, um, <clears throat> which I'll replace with spell book. Um, <clears throat> sorry. This deck is pretty much set. Um, there's still, there's still room, there's still room if I want to, you know, throw in a big beefy creature, so, um, there's some leeway for that, like, I could remove Oko for a big beefy, uh, swinging creature if I need, uh, if I want one, which isn't, uh, um, a bad idea, you know, it might not be a bad idea if I don't want to turn my clue tokens into elks, <laughs> so, yeah, um, there's still there's still some it's now just room of flexibility there's nothing really to improve upon um in a sense uh it's just a matter of if better cards um if there are cards that are better than uh certain ones that can work or if there are future cards that generate clue tokens uh then it could get thrown in there or a future detective oh excuse me if there's future detectives um to go um uh, throw them in <clears throat> Uh, like that, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, there we go, overall, this, um, it's a fun deck, it's not, this is not definitely designed for, uh, high tier, uh, commander, commander pods, this is definitely just for, like, casual fun, it's way too, it's way too specific in, uh, the, the cards, uh, require, um, the, the detective type, Right now, it's just too um, too tight knit specific on one specific gameplay, and that is the clue tokens. And and there's no, even though the clue tokens uh, will help you get um, you know cards and such, which is great and can be put into um, other in other decks. Uh, in terms of centering the deck around the the, the detective creature type itself, um, uh, one would need to be able to create um, turn those. Um, do something more with those uh, clue tokens, which is a, which I'm very curious about now, because I remember there's this old card, March of the Machine. <clears throat> I believe that's a blue card. Yeah, March of the Machines. Um, each non-creature artifact is an artifact creature with power and toughness, each equal to its mana value. Yeah, so those clue tokens won't even, they'll become zero zero creatures and they'll just die instantly. Um, Yeah, I was just thinking of that. But uh, if there are, let's see here. Let, let me see. Maybe I can do one more, uh, one more quick look here. <clears throat> Search for a card that says is an artifact creature. There we go. There are three hundred seventy of these. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the um. Let's see here. All right, 45 in white. Uh, like born to drive, I could turn a clue into a, uh, into a vehicle. <laughs> as long as the chance of permanent is a creature, it gets plus one, plus one. Uh, <laughs> for each creature and or vehicle you control. Um, no, it doesn't do that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I would need to try and find. Um, I would need to try and find something that can turn clues. Um, more cards that could turn clues into artifact creatures. <clears throat> Let's see. It, um, it's not really helping me out here. Can I? It's not gonna let me find a specific. Oh well, it's okay. 
It's okay. So yeah, if I could find um, cards uh, that can turn uh, clues into artifact creatures, just like um, this one card I have here uh, in this deck, um, that would be good. Uh, yeah, and throw in spell book so I'll, that way I can maintain a maximum hand size so I can be able to draw cards um, willfully. But until there's more clues and more detective cards, um, this is pretty much uh, set the way it is. And like I said, this is more of a casual deck. It's not even um, the clue mechanic and the detective uh, tribal um, uh, um, interactions um, doesn't really scream go in there against uh, some Phyrexian, <laughs> high tier Phyrexian um, god deck. <laughs> All right. So, um,. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, follow, you know you want to. And head on over to Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com and grab yourself a copy of The Impossible Man, a strange fantasy novel written by me. Uh, you'll find the links down below uh, in the description below, along with links to other uh, merch such as uh, pins, stickers, t-shirts, and music. Thank you for your patronage. Please enjoy the products. Uh, if you're interested, you can join me on my live multi-stream on Twitch and Kick every Monday through Thursday, 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> so um until um until next time thank y'all for joining me and i wish you all a good night and buenas noches and oye se